Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. He, <laughs> you know, pregame, man. Gotta get my mind right for this. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. The best, the best, the best, the best, the best. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, this channel was about looking good and smelling great. So if you're like me and you love to look good and smell great as well and hear about some great fragrances out there on the market, then you've come to the right channel. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click on the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. So today's video, we're going to talk about 10 cheap eats for life. So we did this tag video a few years ago, if you can only have 10 fragrances for life, and we did the designer and niche versions. So now, everybody has been doing the 10 cheap fragrances that you would keep for life. Again, interesting concept, and I love doing videos like this because I love to assess my collection, and these kind of videos are a lot of fun. So if you want to know what 10 cheap fragrances your boy would keep, then go ahead and keep it locked right here. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. The first fragrance on the list today I've talked about on a few of my recent videos from the house of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Blue. Bulgari Blue. Now again, I don't think this fragrance has gotten nearly as much of the love that it deserves here in what we call the fragrance community. And that could be for a number of reasons, but whatever the reason is, I'm not really concerned about that. But I will tell you guys, this is a amazing cheap fragrance. I've ran through several bottles of this over the course of my lifetime. And that's why I know for a fact it's one that I really, really enjoy because of how much I use it when I have it in the collection. I started with this one in, uh, late in my college years. And again, I've ran through several bottles already. It's a nice um, floral powdery scent with a blue undertone. And again, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one, but guys, this is a gem. It gets pretty good performance as well, but if I could only have 10 inexpensive fragrances or cheapies for the rest of my life, this would definitely be one of them. From the house of Bulgari, this is Bulgari Blue. The next fragrance that I will keep comes from the house of Mont Blanc, and this is Mont Blanc Individuel. Mont Blanc Individuel. Now, anybody, of course, that knows me knows that I love Original Santal, and of course, uh, you know, the same song and dance. This smells like Original Santal, or Original Tense, or Original Santal smells like this. This one came out first. But for the price, oh my goodness, man, this, you really can't beat this one. If you like the DNA of Original Santal, you cannot beat this, because you can get this for between $20 to $25, contingent upon where you look. And for that price, again, absolute gem. If we're talking about cheap fragrances that I would have in my collection, I absolutely love the scent DNA of this one. And of course, uh, the Creed fragrance. And again, I'm definitely going to always have this one around. It's time for me to get a new bottle, actually, um, which I'm going to be doing pretty soon here. But definitely would keep this one from the House of Mont Blanc Individuel. The next fragrance on my list of my 10 cheapies for life from the house of Burberry. This one is Burberry Touch. Burberry Touch. Now, I talk about this one a lot. Again, most of the time when I bring up a, a list that talks about inexpensive fragrances, this is probably going to find its way into the rotation because, man, it's just for the price. I mean, if I were putting, in, putting these in order, this would probably be number one, uh, although I'm not. But man, this is just a great fragrance right here. A spicy, woody floral fragrance is what this is. And um, man, it's just a workhorse and, and I love the DNA of it. It smells amazing. Um, I love the words when I'm getting up, going to the barber shop, running errands and things of that nature. But it works well too. If you're gonna dress up just like I am today, this fragrance will work. It's just a great, inexpensive fragrance from the house of Burberry. This one was a home run. I love this one. This is Burberry Touch. The next fragrance that I would keep for the rest of my life is from the house of Clinique, and this is Happy. 
Happy by Clink. Now this was one of the first fragrances that I got hooked on and ran through several bottles of back in the day. Now, now that my nose has matured, I mean, I don't know if it's a formulation thing or not, or if it's, I didn't pay as much attention to all the different nuances of fragrances back then. But this fragrance, the performance now is horrible, okay? I will say that I only get about three hours of performance out of this. And again, I'm not sure what that is due to uh, the formulation or it's always been that way. I didn't really, really didn't pay it much attention back in the day. Um, when I was in high school, that range started wearing fragrances. But whatever the case is, it smelled great. It's a nice orange, citrusy, uh, slightly floral fragrance. And it smells great. And, and again, this was kind of my signature scent. I was known for wearing Clinique Happy. So it has a special place in my heart, in my collection. So I want to keep this for the rest of my life because probably this is the last bottle that I'll have. I'll probably never get through this one because I don't reach for it uh, much often now, but if we're gonna talk about fragrances for the rest of my life, because this was my one of my first signature scents, I'm gonna definitely have to keep it around. And it'll probably be this same bottle. From the house of Clinique, this is Happy. Next up on the list today from the house of Coach, this is Coach for Men. Love the way this one smells, guys. Nice kind of citrusy pear opening. Uh, but man, this is just one of those versatile scents. It just smells great. I mean, it's, it's highly complimented. You, you're probably going to be hard pressed to run into anybody that's not going to like the way that this scent smells. Just being quite honest with you. And um, again, now that it's been out for quite some time now, oh, about what, maybe two, three years, now you can find it on the discounters for less than $50. And again, so now it definitely falls into that cheapy category. And for just scent alone, this is one that I'm going to keep for the rest of my life because it smells amazing from the house. Coach, this is Coach for Men. Next up on the list, we're going back to the house of Mont Blanc, and this is Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. This made my uh, my summer list. Man, this thing smells so good. Um, guys, it's hard to find. Uh, Lamel Popeye Eau Fraiche nowadays. Um, it's getting a little bit harder to find the Superman, which they're basically the same fragrance. But if you can't get your hand on one of those, this is a great substitute because to me, this reminds me a lot of Popeye Eau Fraiche. Now it doesn't have, again, the aldehyde, so it's not as soapy, but it's a little bit more of a citrus clean opening, but it's very similar to that. And it just smells great. Uh, when I got my nose on this, I said to myself, where have you been all my life? Because it took me a little bit of time to get this into my collection. Um, I don't know, I guess it just wasn't that interested. It had other fragrances I was trying to get uh, prior to this one, but I'm so glad I got it because now that I have it, I'm never going to let it go. So this one now definitely makes my 10 cheapies for life because it smells great from the house of Mont Blanc. This is Legend Spirit. The next fragrance on the list is from the house of Armoff, and this is, of course, Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. If you guys watched my video uh, when my wife picked my most complimented fragrances out of all the fragrances we had in the rotation, expensive and not that expensive, this one. Of course, to me, this is one of the, when you talk about cost, and you include cost, this is one of the best Aventus clones I've ever put my nose on. And it's definitely a clone of a vintage. It smells great, highly complimented. You can get this thing for under 30 bucks for around 20, between 25 and, and 30 bucks, depending on where you look. So definitely falls into the cheapy category. And definitely my, one of my most complimented fragrances for under 30 bucks is definitely worthy of making my 10 cheapies for life video. From the house of our moth, this is Club de Nuit, Intense Man. All right, guys, we are down to the final three fragrances on this list today. Next up, this fragrance comes from the house of Versace, and this is Versace Man Eau Fraiche. One of my favorite summer designer fragrances of all time. So easy to wear. I grab this fragrance uh, just whenever, man. I'm just feeling it, you know, in the summertime. I just grab it and I just spray this thing like crazy. I love the way it smells. And, um, you just can't really beat this scent DNA for the uh, the summertime. When it's really, really hot outside, 
you know, when I'm talking about designer fragrances, this is my absolute go-to right here. I'm always gonna have this fragrance in my collection. I love the way it smells. I love what it does. I love the way it does the things that it does. This one right here for me, guys, when we're talking about cheap fragrances, is one I'm definitely gonna have to keep for the rest of my life. From the house of Versace, this is man, O'Fresh. Next up from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. Now, you can't really talk about classic fragrances in the designer realm without mentioning this fragrance right here. It is the quintessential date night fragrance to me. It has a nice orange blossom, uh, kind of boozy tobacco, uh, dry down, again, slightly boozy accords in there. A lot of people talked about the performance on this, but again, you know, when you talk about a scent that smells this, this good, you know, just reapply, just reapply, keep it moving. But we're talking about fragrances again that are inexpensive or cheap that I want to keep around for the rest of my life. This definitely makes the cut, man. Uh, it smells good. Um, and again, the scent DNA of this was very original when it came out. And um, again, just hard to beat. I mean, I'm talking about the original, the EDT, uh, which it smells a lot like the EDT, of course. But man, this is just a great fragrance, man. Definitely one I would have to keep. I can't see myself having 10 inexpensive or cheap fragrances and this not being in the number. From the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is the one Eau de Parfum. And last but not least, this fragrance comes from the house of Sean John, and this is Sean John's Unforgivable. Now, this fragrance as well is one of the fragrances that uh, I started out with. Um, when I first started out, my rotation really consisted of Sean John's Unforgivable, uh, Clinique Happy, and Polo Blue. Uh, those were like three of my go-to fragrances that I would wear all the time. And I absolutely love this stuff. Now, of course, this fragrance smells a lot like Creed Millicene and Perry. And I've heard that Mr. Sean P. Diddy Combs himself actually loves to wear Millicene and Perry. So, hmm, did he take the DNA of Millicene and Perry and say put it in my, maybe, probably so, I don't know. But at any measure, this is a great fragrance. If you like Millicene and Perry by Creed, You'll probably love this one as well. A cheap, inexpensive fragrance that I'm always going to have to keep in my collection. From the house of Sean John, this is unforgivable. Okay, guys, that is my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on 10 inexpensive or cheap fragrances that I would keep in my collection for the rest of my life. Don't forget to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to other folks that you think can use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your main man, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.